Are you actually saving money with the dining plan? Today we're breaking down the cost of the dining plan for your 2024 Disney World vacations. Now let's dive in. The dining plan gives you a certain number of prepaid meals and snacks so you can spend less time on meal budgeting while you're at the parks, essentially giving you the feel of an all-inclusive vacation. Currently, there are two dining plans to choose from. The quick service dining plan, which gives each person in your party age three or older two quick service meals per day, one snack per day for each night of your stay, as well as a refillable resort mug. This plan is for you if your family plans on eating mostly at quick service locations. Then there's the Disney dining plan, which gives each person in your party age three or older one quick service meal, one table service meal, one snack for each night of your stay, as well as that refillable resort mug. This plan is for you if your family also wants to enjoy some sit-down meals and character dining experiences. First off, let's talk about what the total cost of the dining plan is by using some real-time examples of some prices we've pulled this week. In my first example, this party has four adults and one child under six staying for a five-night stay. So in this scenario, the quick service dining plan was $1,259.37, and then for the Disney dining plan, it was $2,034.14. Moving over to my second example, this was two adults and one child under two for a seven-night stay. The quick service dining plan for this stay was $798.14, and then if they did the dining plan, the Disney dining plan, it would be $1,319.98. Sometimes it's easier to make a decision on the dining plan if you break it down in a price per day comparison. So let's do that. For the quick service dining plan, it's gonna average about $57 per night for anyone over the age of 10 and $23.83 per night for anyone between the ages of three and nine. For the Disney dining plan, it's gonna average about $94 per night for anyone over the age of 10 and $26.69 per night for anyone between the ages of three and nine. Your dining preferences and eating habits may impact the worth of the dining plan for your family. Will you be eating at the parks and the resorts enough to utilize those credits? Now let's do the math. First off, let's assign the credits of value based on the price per day. For the quick service dining plan, we have the price per day set to $57 per person that is over 10 years old. So let's say one quick service meal is worth $25 and a snack credit is worth $7. Switching over to the Disney dining plan for ages 10 and over, we have the price set to $94 per day. So if the quick service is set to $25, and a snack credit is worth $7, that leaves us $62 remaining for that table service credit. Now that we have an estimated amount per credit, let's take a look at the app to see what we would be paying out of pocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and place a mobile order to see what our price would be for a quick service meal. So I'm just gonna pick an entree, trying to go for the most expensive one I can, comes with a side, comes with french fries. Your quick service meal will also come with a drink, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I'm gonna view my order all the way to the end, just so we can see the total cost. So the total I'm getting for this quick service meal is $20.53. So let's say for your second quick service, you had a similarly priced meal, and that would take our total to $41.06. Add on a $6 snack credit and that gives us a total of $47.06. So in this example, it would have cost you more to purchase the quick service dining plan for those items. On the other hand, your quick service meal can come with an alcoholic beverage wherever it's available. So let's pull up a meal and add the beverage to see what that costs. I'm gonna try and go for that $14 range that we had over in the other order. So I'm gonna add that, it comes with the fries. And I will add on an alcoholic beverage here. Wrong spot, here we go. So that same meal, if I add an alcoholic beverage, it's gonna to total $26.93, which is a better value. If we're looking at the Disney dining plan, those table service restaurants will vary in price. For example, Chef Mickey's is about $51 for the character breakfast. Adding your quick service meal for the day and your snack for the day, we're really not saving that much with the Disney dining plan. One other thing to remember with those table service restaurants is that gratuities are not included with your dining plan. So you're gonna have to pay those out of pocket and make sure you have a budget for that. 
To really get the most out of your dining plan, make sure you're getting the highest cost item that you can possibly get with your dining credit. For example, don't waste your snack credits on a bottle of water for $4 when you could use that credit towards something much higher value. Listen, it's my job to sell travel and add-ons. However, and most importantly, it's also my job to ensure that our guests are getting the absolute best value for their money. If you're looking at cost savings, I don't really see the value of adding the dining plan to your trip. However, if you value the convenience and being able to prepay for your meals before your trip, then the dining plan may be beneficial for your family. Now, if you need some help planning your Disney World vacation, make sure you check out this video next. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys.